walk to the corner market and record some thoughts that I'm having. I just was looking back at this video that I made. about the George Floyd protests and what it's become in Portland and what I think about it. And I thought, I started thinking a little more about that trailer with the word rampage on it. Um, so I have, I have a question about if this is correct, if I'm correct, and I think I am, that these protests are linked to mind control and that this is a planned out situation and it's done with the intent of creating an authoritarian state, increasingly authoritarian state, to leverage off the already the you know the silence, the imposed silence that people have been dealing with, um, you know this trauma that you experience when you watch someone being violated the way you've watched me and my family be violated for years and years and years, and the kinds of things that people are being asked to keep quiet as far as basically witnessing murders, if not actually directly participating in the murders. Um, so that's been going on for years and years and years. Profiting from murders, that's been going on for years and years and years. A lot of these cars are linked to that, that are being shown right here. Um, so then, <clears throat> when something like this happens, They figure they've got a bigger chance of pushing it all the way through, there's a dealer plate, to an, a completely authoritarian situation. Because you've already given up your constitutional rights just to even <coughs> do all these other things that you've been asked to do. Um, It's, the, the thing is, it's still not too, too late to recover them at this point, but it could be eventually if this does become an increasingly authoritarian country. So, um, I thought about the word rampage on that trailer. See this here? I believe it's linked to death trafficking and medical trafficking, these sidewalk repairs. And this is going on all over the country, I believe, these, these sidewalk repairs. And in all the cases, I believe it's linked to um, medical trafficking and murder. And I don't know how to prove that. I'm only seeing a pattern. I'm definitely seeing patterns. But how do you get from patterns to proof? To, you know, by proof I mean, you know, that with proof, a standard of proof that would hold up in civil or criminal court. Um, I don't know that I could just do that with the means that are available to me. Because certainly this is going to be disguised, the funding for this stuff is going to be disguised in some ways. Um, a key. I, can't, I, I intended to talk about the word rampage, but now I'm thinking about how to prove these <clears throat> public works projects. Because um, one one guide might be the improvements that were done on my daughter's high school shortly after she left. I think those were linked to trafficking. Not just her, but there's Texas. Other children in the orange car is Texas. Not just her, but other kids from the school through surveillance devices. So they trafficked, I think what they did is they trafficked their own children and used the money from the trafficking to improve the school. What appears to be is that there was a bond measure that passed that allotted money for improving the schools. So can both things be true at once? So I don't know. And this, that, that's something that I don't have an answer to yet. But um, I think that there's a couple, a couple little moves that happen in the middle there. 
so that those two, two things could be connected together and that it would look like something legit, but it maybe wasn't something legit. Okay, so the word rampage. The reason why I think the word rampage is key, other than the fact, okay, there's a couple reasons. One is that when I first looked at that information on Google Maps, the, the screen kind of bounced a little bit when I went that that frame it said rampage like pay attention to this then time went on and here we are uh, let's see that whole incident happened I believe on May 25th so today is July 27th so it's been going on for more than two months and in Portland the situation has been accel accelerating the timing of the coronavirus pandemic is also important in all of this. And I've said that the coronavirus pandemic, I believe, is also a planned out event. And it's totally possible because of the degree of sophistication that's being enacted in all of this, this these black ops, it's totally possible that all of this has been coordinated and they knew that people would already be on edge and maybe uh, restless and so forth because of the pandemic situation to add something like this would uh, maybe create plus they're using direct frequency based technology so maybe maybe Rampage is actually marching orders because a lot of these folks that are operating in this system they have stuff like that they're already communicating with each other in a coded fashion I've shown all that um, I don't always know what this means maybe later on I figure it out I don't usually figure it out in any time to get anything done about it, but the placement of holes, of pots outside people's front doors, of um, different types of coded materials, you know, that are communicating something that I usually don't understand right away, but, uh, you know, the Halloween houses and so forth, things like that. Um, early on, back in 2014, there's another dealer plate, and there's a red, it looks like a Colorado red license plate, but instead of blue, like Colorado usually is, this is red. It might be Montana. It's got a white mountain scene with a red background. In 2014, there was a there was a real strong effort to gaslight me and get me to appear like I was crazy. So that was being done with both frequency-based weapons before I was aware what frequency-based weapons were or could do. And it was being done by community harassment, coordinated community harassment. It might be Arizona. Arizona used to have a red, red and white colors like that. And Toby Vale, at that time, who I recognize as being one of the people leading those efforts of uh, harassment and uh, police corruption and things like that in Portland. She was living in Olympia, but she's like the police corruption in Portland and probably elsewhere. Toby Vale put up a um, picture of herself. There's a Mercedes followed by a BMW holding an album cover by a band called Vex. They call themselves Vex, V-E-X-X. -X. I think she was holding it up in a mirror or something like that. So I think the mirror, the mirror signifies Mercedes convertibles that are getting so popular. Um, I think the mirror signifies a reversal of personality. That, that people linked to Evergreen, to Sub Pop, to, you know, Seattle, to, you know, and I think that my family is a big part of this, my family in Washington State, have been taught, and Portland, have been taught, and there's another dealer place, to do these personality reversals. So they, they're constantly acting. 
especially with regards to us, Chris and me. So they act like our friends and then they switch around and act like our enemies. And it's all under command of people like Toby Vale. And when she put that Vex album up in the mirror, there's Texas. GDY6586. Vex was a command of a sort to vex me, you know, to make me seem like I was crazy. There's a dealer plate right up at the intersection there. So a vex, I think, was a command. And people knew what it meant. It was a, like a marching order. So my suspicion is that Rampage is the same thing. The rampage is actually a marching order. And maybe that's linked to these new cars. There's another uh, blank plate, dealer plate, on that Volvo. So what I'm saying is... Um, I don't know how they would coordinate all of this, but um, the rampage is a part of a bigger plan. People just uh, get some type of marching order. They know that they're going to get some type of reward for carrying out the types of things that they want you to carry out. And that's why we have these ongoing demonstrations in Portland. I'm suspecting that that's actually what's going on. Um, and I think the goal of the architects of this is an authoritarian state, Nazi style, but I'm not sure how many people are privy to that or even care. There's another dealer plate. They just see it as a way to get stuff, to, you know, consume or survive, depending on where they're at. But from what I, from my perspective, it appears to be more consuming than surviving. People are, you know, they're driving Mercedes, BMWs and Audis. and posted a video from this group that's making shields to shield the tear gas canisters, deflect the tear gas canisters. Um, and so it's like they've, they've settled into this idea that it's a war zone and they're just going to sit here and constantly fight the police, but they don't have, seem to have a lot of demands other than police reform or defunding the police. It, to me, from my perspective, why is that... Uh, that looks like Minnesota. Is it? No. Yes, it is. Minnesota. Um, if you have an issue with the police, it does, why, why is it so difficult that it's re requiring two months of protests rather than the mayor is going to sit down, you know, you guys form a group, make a coherent list of demands, sit down with the mayor and try and work something out, some action items that are satisfactory to everybody and move ahead instead of doing this night after night after night. And I really suspect it's because they want to do this night after night after night. And I really suspect it's nothing to do at all with Black Lives Matter, that it's entirely about making it seem like Portland is out of control the country's out of control when in fact they're being controlled I think and before I just thought this was they're, they're beaming everybody I knew there was mind control involved I thought oh they're beaming everybody in the heads that looks like Missouri I can't tell for sure 
they're beating everybody in the head and everybody's going nuts. But that's some of that's going on, but I don't think that's the main thing that's happening. I think these people are conscientiously doing what they're doing and that they have trigger words. And it's not that they're triggered, they don't know what's going on. It's just they know that this is the trigger word. And so probably they knew somehow to look for that or to find that word rampage. And when they found that word rampage or saw it or were sent it, a whole plan that had already been in place began to be enacted. And I think that's what this is. certain percentage of these cars are related to that. Plate. California, lots of California still. Lots of these new Mercedes. the local um, corner cannabis store. Piece of cardboard being thrown out now. They had cone out forever and now it's cardboard. Their door was broken during some of the early nights of protests. So a lot of the doors around town are now covered with this particle board. And then they have these stickers too, the crow. I believe this is supposed to be a crow. With a cam cannabis leaf in its eye over a map of Oregon, this thing called Garden Goat. <laughs> 